we've been working on in the background for a while because it's such a technical challenge trying to save all the data that we store. I mean, one of the reasons why you can't rewind time so much in flashback is just the amount of data that we store. That we store. So having to kind of build on that system so that someone can save at any point. Initially, we weren't sure whether there'd be limitations that you had to save in the pit lane, for example. But no, anywhere on any track at any time you can save. So that's enabling, like I said, more players to experience longer races. But you can also sort of have tandem game modes sort of halfway through progression. So you might want to launch your career. Let's say you're racing for Marissa or Caterham and you get you know halfway through a race and then you just think, oh, I'm just so sick of fighting at the back for like 19th place. You might want to just quickly launch into an F1 Classics race or a Grand Prix race and then have a blitz round in a Mercedes, for example. So all you know, you can you can mid race save in, uh, in a couple of different options, and then just go back to to each one of them with one button press. So it's really sort of kind of enabling more players to experience different components of the game. Um, Ninety percent of the time, I think people come back to the the same thing that they were playing previously. So that's a, another great reason for it that you kind of don't have to just wait to a new Grand Prix weekend or save between sessions. You can now save at any point if you get you know you get told off by your girlfriend or whatever the case may be.